How's it going guys? Now before we get started in, into this tier list, go to the main menu, go to options, look at the numbers and letters at the bottom right of the screen. If your numbers and letters do not match what you see on the screen, then you're on a future update and this tier list is out of date. Now getting into the characters, I get asked a ton of times on my stream. Rio, who's the best character in the game? Rio, who's top tier? Rio, who's bottom tier? Rio, is this character good? But I thought I'd make a video and address what I feel right now is the tier list. I understand we're a week into the game, but after playing a lot of characters, I feel like I can kind of see where characters can sit around on in terms of potential. And I feel like I can make a somewhat digestible tier list. So I'm going to try and do this. Now I have five tiers and in the S tier, which is what I call the very cheap tier, we have Aaron Black, Geras, Scorpion, Sonya Blade and Sub-Zero. Now Aaron Black has gun parry and rifle stance. They pretty much immobilize the opponent, make them want to stay still and be patient. This this synergizes so well with his Astro Vile because then they, they start taking damage over time. He's got his boot his boot drop 50-50 with his slide, which is uh, great to condition people that are scared to move in neutral, which again complements his playstyle. He's got one, one of the best fatal blows in the game and he's got string mix-ups. Gears has some of the highest damage in the game. He's got crazy interactable setups with his freeze time stop move. He's got what I call an MKX string, which is 4212. It's a string you can literally just do and throw out. It's fast, safe on block. All three hits are special cancelable. There's no uh, floss block gaps in it. He can even tick throw off it. He can combo off of the string. It's basically an all purpose string. He's got other good strings on top of that. He's got very good throws. His back throw and forward throw give him throw loops because they leave the opponent right next to him with great hit advantage. He also has an amazing fatal blow. Then with Scorpion, in my opinion, Scorpion has the best special move in the game, which is Teleport. Teleport commands neutral like no other move in the game. It forces almost every character to play in a similar way against Scorpion. He is the best jumping character. He can jump like a bean. The second you go to anti him or challenge him or throw out a down two, he could teleport and full combo you. This teleport can be dicey to punish on block in the heat of the moment because of the meter burn part. Combine that with his teleport cancels in his first variation, he becomes one of the best mobility characters. He is without a doubt the best anti-zoning character in the game. He also has some of the best staggers. 4-3 is a great normal. He's got great crushing blow setups. He has good pokes. An amazing 4 throw game because he could 4 throw you then walk up and 4 throw you again and then play off your wake up game by teleporting and jumping or baiting. He also has one of the best wake ups which is his up 3. It's a 9 frame very far advancing mid wake up that's minus 2 on block. And if it clips you out of the air, he can convert off it for full combos. And he's also got an underrated fireball. He can sit full screen and chuck spear after spear because they buffed the startup and recovery. So now it actually acts like a fireball in a way. Overall, Scorpion, in my opinion, is one of the best characters in, in the game, without a doubt. Sonya Blade, she's another character that hits like a truck. She's got insane mix-ups. Yes, her back one is a high, and it goes into back one two, back one four, which is high overhead or high low. There's a one frame difference, which means you really cannot fuzzy it. Even though it's a high, it's very easy to, to, for her to set this up because she just needs to hit you with like a down one or something, and then her back one's guaranteed, and then you're forced to guess. In the corner, you can literally die off two guesses to her 50 50 because she can do upwards to almost 50% with her bar. She also has a great fireball, and overall, she's a very scary character to play against. Now, Sub Zero, who, in my opinion, like Scorpion, is another downplayed character. This character is insane. He's one of the best offensive characters in the game. He's got great staggers with his back 3 1, back 3 1 2. Because it's naturally a low, your opponent's gonna be sitting there duck blocking a lot, which creates a great shimmy game for him. He's got a fastest overhead in the game, which uh, which rivals Raiden's speed, but the difference with Raiden is Raiden's overhead is always on, it's always unsafe on block. Doesn't go sweep distance like Sub-Zero's overhead. And doesn't lead to full combos every time like Sub-Zero can when Sub-Zero has a bar. So, so Sub-Zero is a very scary character. He's one of the best 50-50 characters in the game, if not the best. When he gets Fatal Blow, he becomes a monster because he can hit you take almost half of your life and then you have to guess again and then you can die in the blink of a match. His Dead of Winter variation has one of the best fireballs in the game. His EX fireball is extremely fast, it's mid, it commands neutral, eats up other fireballs. It basically gets the opponent 
to be cautious of the move. And then once you start playing cautious against Sub-Zero, it gives him time to move in and then and try and get his offense going. On top of all this, he has a great throw game. His fourth throw leads to throw loops. He could fourth throw you, walk up, fourth throw again, shimmy you, overhead low. This character is definitely one, one of the best in the game right now. Now moving on to A plus tier, and this tier I have as the very strong tier because the characters in this tier are very strong. We have Baraka, Cassie Cage, Jax, Liu Kang, and Noob Saibop. Baraka has got great normals, good pokes, his down for low profiles on hits like plus 30. He hits like a truck, he's got one of the best command grabs. Overall Baraka is a very strong character. Cassie Cage has some of the best mids in the game. Great, great staggers with her forward four. Very good zoning. This character is very powerful. Jax is another character who has some of the best staggers in the game. He's got 4-3-3, 4-2. He's got one of the best command grabs. Very good mix-ups. Overall, this is another character that can gain a ton of momentum and then quickly finish the match once he gets in. Liu Kang is a very fast character up close. He's got good staggers. He can convert off a lot of his combos. He's got solid zoning. He's got one of the trickiest teleports to block because of because it's a mix-up. Liu Kang is without a doubt a very good character in, in the right hands. Now Noob Saba, a character you don't really see people talking much about. I think Noob Saba is easily one of the better characters in the game. He's got great neutral. He's got some of the best footsies in the entire game. He hits like a truck. Literally this character can do anything and then confirm off it and get upwards to a 40% combo. He's got really good buttons with back 1, 1 plus 3. His 4, 2, 2, 1 is another good move in neutral. He's got good down 4, great antares with 4, 3 and down 2. Decent fireballs. This character, people may not see it now, but I think as we get into the game a couple months from now, this character is going to be a character that is going to end up being very strong. Now on to the A tier. And these characters in here I have as very good. We have Cetrion. Jackie Briggs, Cabal, Collector, and Scarlet. Now, Cetrion, I don't care who you are, this character is going to make you come there. She's got all her tricks and trades to get the edge in the matchup and then make your opponent want to approach. You got a variation with a teleport, which is great for mobility, a geyser move, which she can combo off of and convert off almost any of her hits. She's got full screen frame traps with her boulders into either her ground pound or her geyser. Her first variation has better zoning. She has uh, meter cancels which can bait opponents into you know having a scorpion do a teleport or somebody do something that's unsafe. Overall this character in my opinion is the best zoning character. She also has amazing footies and underrated normals. This character can space you out in neutral once you get in and you start playing her stagger game. Jackie is another very good character. This character is more of a rushdown character, but she has a, an aggressive neutral. Her dash punch forces you to sometimes want to crouch to get the full combo punish. And once you start crouching, she could do dash up back two. And that move is pretty dangerous to get hit by because then it starts putting you towards a corner. She's got a lot of faint cancels in her first variation. She can convert off stuff. She's got a very fast reversal punish with her down back four lightning kick legs. Overall, Jackie is such a good character in the right hands. Next we got Cabal in this tier, and Cabal's got great normals, great range, he can com convert off a lot of his hits, he's got very solid zoning, some of the best jump attacks in the game, and an extremely good fatal blow. Cabal where he stands right now is, he's just simply put, he's a very good character. Now with Collector, Collector has some of the best range in the game on his normals, he's got a good teleport, he's got a lot of mind games with his bola cancels and his back four two moves. He has a mid command grab, which not many characters in the game have. Again, only Gears and Kotal Khan are the, are the only two characters in the game that have a mid command grab. He's got great strings, fast mids. He's overall a very good character. Now Scarlet. Scarlet is a character that people may be like, wow, why isn't she way higher? She's insane. Well, yes, she does have some of the best zoning in the game and some of the best range and such. I think Scarlet, as the game progresses, will require more work from the player to win with because literally almost all of her strings have flawless block gaps and fatal blow gaps. 
So right now people aren't really exploiting it, but while the, while she is very good, I think she's being overrated a tad bit. So that's why I have her in the A tier. Now moving on to the A minus tier. This is what I call the most balanced tier. The characters in this tier are, in my opinion, they're at the right balance of where I think the game should be. The characters in this game, they have very good attacks, but they're also not full of bullshit crap. And with this tier, we have Jade, Johnny Cage, Kano, Katana, Kung Lao, and Raiden. Jade, one of the best zoning characters in the game, and she's also good at anti-zoning. She's got an amazing down four, best uppercut in the game, decent strings. She conditions you, she can start hitting you with her sweep or her overhead. Overall, she's just a very well-designed character. Now, Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage is some of the best pokes in the game. He's what I like to call the Catwoman of the game in a way because he has the best low profiling. His down 3 goes under a lot of shit, a lot of characters' mids. Same thing with his down 4. They're both extremely fast. If his down 4 hits you, he gets guaranteed follow-ups with his 4-3 and back 3 checks. He's got decent footsies. He's got a restand. Overall, this character is just solid all around. Now, Kano is a character... He's got good mix-ups. He's got a command throw in his first variation. He's got a low that goes into follow-ups. He's got good throws a decent fireball good mobility with his cannonball decent combos and strings he's another character that is just simply put he's a good character katana extremely safe character if you like doing attacks that are leave you safe on block this is the character you want to play she's got very good footsie buttons she's very safe got stagger mind games her first variation allows her to convert off almost everything she's got a solid fireball her second variation with the Psy, she's got uh, Psy cancel mind games, uh, her Psy move is safe, she's got better zoning, she's got a teleport. In my opinion, Katana is in a very, good, a very good position, she's just a very solid character and she has two good variations to work with. Next up we have Kung Lao and Kung Lao's got great damage. He hits like a truck, he's got swaggy combos, solid strings, very good staggers easy to set up throws with him he's got uh, a quite an underrated teleport it's not scorpion tier but it's one of the better teleports in the game in terms of using it in mind games and last but not least in this tier we have raiden and raiden again he's just a very solid character he's got good strings with back three one uh back three alone is a good stagger he's got back one two which is another good stagger He's got solid range, he can convert off almost everything if you hit confirm into his lightning move into combos. He's got an amazing teleport, very good zoning in his first variation. This character in my opinion, he's just in a good spot. Now getting to the B tier. This tier I want to call good but has faults, which means they're good characters, they just have some faults. And for this tier we have Devora, Frost, Kotal Khan, and Shao Kahn. Now Devora is she's not that bad of a character. Her issue her issue is more of she has a couple normal attacks that don't really do much of anything. Uh, she also has issues with some of her hitboxes like her 422 1 plus 3 overhead tends to whiff on some characters crouch blocking where the overhead will just go over will literally go over their head and then she'll land behind them and get whiff punished. She has Moves with great range, but they counter they kind of counter synergize with her playstyle because she has a lot of special ups that just don't connect from range and moves that tend to whiff. So Devora, while she's a very good character and you could do good things with her if you put in the work, she just has those flaws where some hitbox fixes could really go a long way in helping her. Frost, similar to Devora has an issue where she's got great normals and great range. She's actually a pretty underrated zoning character and she can space some people out very well. The problem is when you're in your in her optimal range and you're hitting people with her amazing normals, a lot of her follow-ups just don't work and special moves just don't hit when you link them from her great ranges that you want to play at. 
So kind of counter synergizes in, in that spot. Aside from that, Frost is a she's a good character. She just has those issues, and she has a couple hitbox issues as well. Now Kotokan, who in my opinion he's actually the best character of this tier. He's got great normals: four three four, four four, four two one. His first variation is actually pretty good. It's got a com mid command grab. It's got a special launcher that he can confirm off any of his moves. One of Kotokan's issue is a lot of his strings, uh, some of them just are very unsafe. Other ones have huge gaps which opponents can just poke out of. And he has to play pretty risky. But aside from that, he's very good. In my opinion, he could easily be debated as being in the A- tier. I just have him in this tier because I think his second variation is... The Blood Totems just don't fit his style as well as they could be implemented. Last but not least, we have Shao Kahn. Now Shao Kahn, he's got good moves, good space control, good footsies, good buttons. He's got a lot of range, and yes his 4-2 and, and such is a high, but the reason it's good that that moves is a high is because when you play against someone that knows the Shao Kahn matchup, they're going to start ducking outside sweep distance to bait you into doing that move and then try to whiff punish you. This opens up Shao Kahn's shoulder. Once people start doing that, you can just shoulder them and hit them. And once they realize, oh crap, I don't want to get launched by shoulder, let me start blocking. That opens up Shao Kahn to start doing his 4-2 string and his other highs. The issue with Shao Kahn is, once somebody starts blocking, he's got so many gaps. Like you could, I'm not even joking, you could floss block 80% of his strings because of how many gaps they have. Something I do think Shao Kahn does need is they could, they should at least give him one string that's like a good safe string that he can kind of use. If they were to reduce the gap on his 4-3-4, just make it so you can't floss block it, just reduce the gap to make it 4 frames, he would have a good move to throw at and use and maybe they could do something like reduce the startup on his taunts in the first variation. And for the second variation they can do something like make his upward hammer toss, the one that comes back down, make it like 0 or plus 1 on block, that way he has something that if you're not smart and quickly react to it, then he's rewarded by having some plus frames. And there you guys go. This is my week one tier list. I will be releasing future videos that cover individual characters more in depth, but thank you guys for watching.